Hey everybody, this is Darth Tomanis here, and a creeper just exploded behind me. Yay, creeper. Sweet. Um, yeah, so filling in this hole back here. Stupid creeper. Um, so I'm here on the unnamed server, and I am looking at my list. There, The sign fell off. There's something right here. Oh, what was it? Boat dock more farms, build a house, terraform this mug, nether tunnel, I don't know, whatever this was, uh, we'll just say, I, I keep saying I want to do something circular, build, circular, circle, there we go. Build circle. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. So done a little bit over here. Um, you know, I said in my last video, the one thing I didn't want to do is just build more square and rectangular pillared rooms. So I built this room. It's rectangular and it's pillared so to speak. This is my storage room. Uh, not necessarily finished with it because I'm not really satisfied with it. Like, I don't know about you. Um, I kind of get tunnel vision and I can't escape it and I don't know what the deal is. And my tunnel vision is just not building the way that I usually build. Like, I, I like the things that I build. I really do. I like having pillars and I like having glass but I want to do something different and unique and and I said that from the get-go that I wanted to do something different and unique with this island and all I'm doing is building the same old thing that I always build I don't know um, so give me some suggestions I don't know if you've ever had this problem before um, just let me know like what what do you do to kind of break your mind out of the mold of what you always do? Have you ever noticed that it's just hard to think differently about something? Um, especially if you're used to it or comfortable with it. It's it's hard to, to branch off to do something new. And a lot of times it's just because like you're just so ingrained to think a certain way. Like when I started playing Minecraft and building, I watched a whole lot of um, Corallus's early builds and, and early modern builds and you know they've come a long way like if you look at his stuff like it's totally different now than what it was whenever he first started doing builds like when he first started doing builds it was just interesting shapes and, and pillars and glass and you know like that's that's really inspired a lot of what I do um, but then, like, I think my building is just kind of devolved to put a pillar, put some glass, put a pillar, put some glass. And I just want to break out of it. And <laughs> I don't know how. It's crazy. It's very, very crazy. So let me some advice. Let me know what you do. Um, maybe I should, you know, surf the internet, get a picture. Um, and then find something to build towards. And not only that, but I also have the problem of, um, like I've built, definitely built, built that huge square thing with the pool that is modeled after our honeymoon. And it's this rectangular thing with pillars around it. So it's like, what do I do with that even after I've built? Right. I do like this though. This little staircase over here. Staircase is a little cattywampus to everything. So, yay, cattywampus. I like the diagonally. 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 Ha ha ha. Harry Potter. Um, so, yeah. Well, let's go collect some resources. Um, speaking of things that I like, I really just can't seem to. to break out of is like I'm not a very social person um, like I'm I'm an introvert and introvert doesn't always mean what you think an introvert is like introvert doesn't mean that I hate people or um, you know that I don't like being around people like that's a lie like I really do enjoy 
um, the company of other people. I really do. I enjoy getting to know people. I enjoy interacting with people and talking with people. Um, just being introverted, what it means is interacting with other people makes me um, exhausted. It drains a lot of energy from me. Um, and that energy um, gets replenished whenever I have time of solitude, time by myself. Um, so it's like introversion is just one of those things that it's just how you deal with relating to other people. People who are extroverted, well, they are energized by spending time with other people. So when you get an extrovert and an introvert together, the extrovert, like all they want to do is spend time with you because they get charged from it. And they get energized from it. And being an introvert, well, spending time with someone, well, it drains you. It wears you out. Um, so it's just kind of one of those vicious cycles. But it is interesting, though. Like, you know, it, a lot of introverts, like, you, you're typecast as not wanting to be around people. And that's just not true. Like, I enjoy people's company. I enjoy getting to know people. I know, however, that it's going to wear me out if I do. So let me just tell you, I had an opportunity, I'm saying all this for a reason, I had an opportunity this past week um, to meet with some Nashville area Minecrafters and YouTubers. Um, there's, you know, there's a pretty decent amount of good, talented, <laughs> decent amount. There are five of us that I think are actively um, making content or streaming, maybe more. Um, but yeah, it's just a, a small little group of us, um, including... Um, Joe Hills. If you're not familiar with who Joe Hills is, um, shame on you. Uh, Joe Hills is a member, was a member of the Hermitcraft server. Right now, he is working on a top secret project. Um, it sounded really cool as he's describing it. Um, a project of, you know, from the ground up, starting a a new idea, a fresh approach um, to. To gaming, a, a different type of. Anyways, I don't. I don't know how much I can say. Um, he didn't say anything about what the project was or anything like that. He just said he's working on a project. Um, so he's kind of taking a break from Minecraft to help out on this project. Um, but Joe Hills is an awesome gamer. He's from Nashville, Tennessee, and his videos. He always opens up and he's like, "Howdy, y'all! It's Joe Hills here, recording as I always do from Nashville, Tennessee. That's Joe Hills." Joe Hills is awesome. Um, so he was one of the guys there. Um, met Drax LP, which um, very, very cool thing. Uh, if you watch my Attack of the B Team series, Drax um, is a, a... I linked to one of his videos like two or three weeks before we met. Um, just doing some research on uh, the Project Red, um, Project Red system. And he has an amazing tutorial for Project Red. Um, and so I, I looked it up and I was like, hey, this is really, really cool. Um, so I didn't realize he was from Nashville. Well, as we were setting this up, I was like, Drax LP. And I looked at his channel. And then I saw that not only was he the, the guy that... Um, <laughs> the guy that... I, I had watched one of his videos the week prior and linked to it in, in my video... Um, he's from the area. He's a very, very awesome dude. He's a cool dude. Um, very smart guy. Um, got to meet him. Uh, Graphionics, I guess, is how you would pronounce her channel, um, pronounce her name. She's you probably have heard of her before if you follow any of the, like the you know kind of more famous lady gamers. Um, I don't know how famous uh, she is, but she's she has a really good interactive following. Um, got to meet up with her, Joe Hills, and, and all that. And I'm telling you all this is because I'm an introvert, right? The last thing that I want to do is spend time with people um, that that I don't know, um, that I, I have no idea who they are or what they're going to be like or if they're just going to sit there and it's going to be, oh my gosh, this is going to be the death of me. All right, take that. So it was just fun. It was really neat. I took a chance and went. And honestly, like I started out not um, not wanting to go alone. My wife was going to go with me, and she decided at the the last minute that she, um, you know, like she is playing a little bit of Minecraft here lately. But 
she decided that she wouldn't have anything in common with anyone, so she decided, you know, I'm just not going to go. And I, I respect her decision. So I kind of was in one of those crisis modes where it's like, do I go meet people I don't know or do I stay home? Um, so I decided to go. I decided to, to chance it, decided to meet some people that I, um, you know, I, I, I've only interacted with online, things like that. But I had a great time. Um, got to know a, a lot about the other people that were there. Realized we, you know, a lot of us have a whole lot in common. Um, besides Minecraft, uh, you know, a lot of us are, uh, you know, if you know Graf, she's a she's a mom and she's got two adorable little girls. Um, you know, of course she's married and and all that. So um, Joe Hills is a married guy as well. So it's just nice being around other. Um, other married people who who game, other parents and, and family members who have to do the, the old struggle of juggling family time and gaming. and um, It's just neat talking to, to all of them, getting to know them. Um, it's just neat getting getting out of the house, and, and uh, yeah, I had a really good time. Um, you know, like, really, really good people. I'll try to link everybody's channel um, in my description um, as well. Just check them out. They're, they're good people. Um, you know, Joe Hills is definitely the biggest name out of all of us, but everyone else, they deserve the attention. They deserve people to, to pay attention to them. They're very good YouTubers um, as well. Um, so I'll uh, probably left them out. I know I left the weather geek out mentioning him. Here, there he is. And Sketch, who's in the area, he wasn't able to make it. He does a lot of um, live streams and things like that. Very funny, cool guy. Um, check out his stuff. I was really upset that I didn't get to meet him. One, because he has an amazing beard. Two, he smokes a pipe. I smoke a pipe, too. Um, I even brought my pipe, because I, I always bring an extra. Um, like, if you, you know, are around and would like to to smoke a pipe with Darth I would love the opportunity to smoke a pipe with you so I keep an extra pipe um, smoking pipes one of those things it's very very cool hold on let me take care of um, a four-year-old throwing a fit real quick so yeah I always keep an extra pipe on me um, like I, there's just something about uh, the culture of pipe smokers is you like you want to smoke your pipe with other people um, so I, I keep a spare on me at all times, and it's just kind of a part of of the culture. Like, you want to find someone who's never done it before, and you want to teach them how to do it, and just kind of pass it on. Like, pipe smoking is a, um, I, it, it's just such a, a relaxing thing. It's a good taste, the smoke is. Um, you know, sometimes some of my best thoughts um, are me sitting outside smoking my pipe, or um, you know, sitting around talking with people. I don't know what it is. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just cool. Uh, it's cool. And it's not really cool, cool, but yeah, I think it's cool. So I was looking forward to, to meeting Sketch and sharing a pipe with him, uh, but he was not able to make it, which sucked. But that's okay. Really had a good time. It was good getting out. Um, you never, I never know what to expect meeting new people. Um, and you know, I work. Uh, I have a very social job, um, you know, those of you who don't know, it's like I, I work for a church, and so it's like Sunday mornings, like I'm constantly around other people and, and having to uh, interact with them, and you know, I'm not I'm not complaining about it at all. It's just, you know, as an introvert, Sundays are some of my hardest days where like I am just drained and exhausted when I get home, and it could be a great day. Um, really could where I'm you know really getting along with people interacting having fun and laughing um, but I'm just drained when I get home and I just need peace and quiet I need silence and solitude just kind of recharge my batteries um, so that's that's where a lot of uh, you know my my time gaming comes in um, it's time just me sitting here um, minecraft I love the <laughs> it's like I love the sound of you know, like chopping down trees or mining. Like, it's just relaxing. I don't know what it is. 
I enjoy it. So anyways, just kind of rambling, going blah, 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 while I'm mining. Yeah, guess what? I'm recording while mining. Nobody wants to see you record and mine, and I tell people that all the time. And here I am, underground, mining and talking. So if you enjoyed it, awesome. If not, I really do apologize. So leave some ideas here um, in the comments section about things that I can um, do um, as far as like building onto um, everything that's up there, um, making it a little different, not just a square rectangular thing, um, but adding some circle somewhere to it, some curves. I like curves. Um, and getting all that stuff done and taken care of. All right, well, anyways, this is Darth Tamanis. Um, thank you so much for checking me out. I'm going to do some more gathering of resources and do some building um, here as well. And we'll see you guys when I have something else to show you. Thank you very much. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.